What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups and in this video we are talking about the game show from Clockwork and I want you to know that this thing looks very awesome and I am very excited about it. So with that being said, if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With this being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so this was actually sent to me by Clockwork. They emailed me, we got in touch and talked, and they said, hey, would you be interested in reviewing this? I checked this thing out on their Amazon link, and man, was I super excited about this. I was super to get this in and to get it taken apart. Well, more like taken put together and then kind of see where it was going forward. Now this video, to keep it kind of short, it's just gonna be how to use this, or better yet, how to put this thing together, because this does come in different, different modules. So it comes disassembled, you get to DIY it, you put it together, and all that cool stuff. It's very awesome. Now it does have a quad-core Cortex-A7 CPU, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board, it has a programmable keypad, it has Linux kernel 4.1 supported. It has one gig of DDR3, and then it has a 16 gig micro SD card on it with Clockwork Pi OS, the micro HDMI output, and it has a 1200 milliamp hours rechargeable battery. So this thing looks promising, and I'm very excited to play it. It looks like it plays Game Boy games. It looks like it plays Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, and PS1 games. So that is very exciting. If you like to emulate games and you want to do stuff like that, you can. Also, you can program your own games and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take this, head over there to the workbench and put it together. So with that being said, let's go check it out. Okay, so I have the game shell here by Clockwork. Um, I will put the link to this down below, but I want you guys to know they did send this to me and I am super stoked about it. This thing looks very cool, so let's dig right into it. I'm going to go ahead and unbox everything, show you guys kind of some of the cool stuff that it comes with, and then we're going to actually put this thing together. Um, this is the instruction, so we'll set that aside there. These look to be like stickers uh, for whatever reason if you want that. You can have that then you have a bunch of the modules and so i'm not sure what each one is so i'm gonna kind of take them all out and then we will check it all out once we have taken them all out it looks like they have all of this stuff very kind of neatly packaged so i'm gonna get this big hunk of box out of the way make sure there's nothing else out of it and i'll set it off to the side here while we do this now if you notice there are six the five boxes and two of these uh, kind of protectors and whatnot. So I'm gonna kind of grab these instructions and we're gonna kind of check out what I need to do. Now I have a bunch of stuff and so I will be kind of referencing this. I'm gonna set it up back here out of the way for you guys. That way it's easier for you guys to see it, but I'm going to also open it up. That way it's easy for me. That way this is kind of a quick, nice rundown. Now, these are not needed until later, it looks like, so I'm setting those to the side, but it looks like this piece is one of the first pieces that is needed. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of its wrapper and hopefully be able to figure out how to. Looks like it's just kind of stuck together, which I mean is not a big deal, but I don't wanna rip anything. So I'm going to peel this away and we will get to going, hopefully, there you go, look at that, look at that, that stuff looks clean. I'm glad they included this, this plastic, it definitely kept everything nice and clean and hopefully my fingerprints do not get all over it. I'm going to kind of throw that to the side here. Now the first piece is the B3 piece which is this piece right here. So I'm going to be careful and pop it off if I can. Be careful with it. Of course, you do not want to break any of these things, so 
definitely going to be very careful careful about that. Now, it looks like I don't need that many more pieces from this. I'll need a piece from this one as well. I'm just kind of throwing all the stuff on the floor for right now. So if you see me kind of toss something, it's just the garbage. Nothing other than that. So I need this piece, I believe. Let's look at the instructions. Okay, so I need this piece. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that off. Man. Let's see if I can use these and actually pop it off better. These do have a cutter. But I was afraid it was gonna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off. Whoa. This is some strong plastic they got going on here. That's concerning a little bit. I'm interested to see what that means later on, whether or not that plastic is in the way or not. So I'm definitely concerned about that, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and open all these boxes up and see what's in them. Now we've got the white or gray-ish. I wanted this to look like the um, Game Boy when it came out, so I picked this color. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more gray, but maybe this will make it go together a little bit better. And so I'm interested to see how that will work. It looks like this is kind of maybe the battery or whatnot. Caution. Okay, so these are all the batteries and the wiring and stuff. But this is very nice. It's very modular, like I said, and you can um, put it all together by yourself, basically. You don't need very many tools. Um, you can get certain tools for this, but here are the, what looks to be the board and the screen and all that. And this one almost feels empty, but I know there's something in it. I'm not sure what though. Okay, so those are all your buttons and stuff. So I'll put those over to the side. So first off I need is the screen and this is what it is. Um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward how to do this but you want to definitely be careful uh, especially when you're grabbing stuff and touching it um, as you can tell this has a, a screen to peel so once you peel that you definitely want to be careful that you don't touch anything so I'm gonna go ahead and try to make sure that I put everything together here right goes right like that and then you can take this and pop it in There's a little, maybe I just need to set it like this. Maybe this isn't the right piece. I think I got the wrong piece off. Hold on everyone. Let's check this out. Yeah, that's the piece that it told me to. Let's check it out and see if maybe I looked at it wrong. Oh snap, I looked at it wrong. It needs to be this piece. Look at that, I'm already messing this up. Good thing I figured that out before I tried cramming it. That would have been a big mistake, but that's okay. Oh, there it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and pop it down in there. Maybe. Let's check this out one more time. They suggest you put this like this, but it doesn't quite, maybe you have to bend it back like this. Oh yeah, it does. If I could read the instructions a little bit better, it does mention to bend it back like that. So I'm doing everything right here. At least it looks like it. Um, then we will take this and put it on there. Now it wants you to be careful with this, but you're going to have to still be somewhat forceful. Make sure you do not 
break the screen though or that ribbon cable because if you do that you will definitely have issues uh, later on so I'm gonna actually bend this ribbon cable a little more uh, that way everything will kind of pop into place a little bit looks like everything's not lined up yet okay there it is once I had it lined up it clicked in right away so that was very very pretty simple once I got the right part and once I figured out how to actually read the instructions so that's kind of cool right there so now we're gonna work on the main board here so that means I need to get the right parts and this time actually getting the right parts matters so I'm gonna go ahead and look at this and it tells you that this right here is the one that needs to be used next you go ahead and pop that off set that down then next I need I believe that part that I already popped off yeah I need this part and then I need the main board which the main board I believe by looking at it is one of these let's see there's a bunch of stuff I just want to make sure okay so yeah this looks to be the main board so we're gonna pop that out slide that right on out of there good set this off to the side yet again what we're gonna do is look for where the ports are and where all the lineup stuff is so you can go ahead and take it make sure all of it lines up here because if that doesn't line up you won't be able to do what you need to so you make sure everything's there then you go ahead and yet again um, let's see if I can pop this in there without there's that there's the board now we've got that all kind of settled together we'll set that off to the side now now we're gonna work on the keypad which is yet again some more of the plastic pieces here you've got well, obviously what looks to be the keypad here gonna pop that out we're gonna need that we're gonna need this part um, all of these are labeled I haven't realized it there are a uh, one two three and four and then um, it tells you whether it's a or B on the instructions so these are actually pretty simple instructions to follow if you follow them now that I realized earlier I wasn't following them I will follow them a little bit better um, I have issues with this plastic though the way that it's put together I'll probably have to sand that down to fit it in here so let's make sure we grab all the rest of this stuff I need this board because this is obviously the buttons board and then I will need to grab all those buttons as well so you can see this is another board so I'll set that down and then I need to make sure I grab all of these buttons and I believe I need this keypad um, kind of overlay and then all of these buttons at least the a b x and y and the um, d-pad so I'm gonna go ahead and pop those off here and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put them in where they need to be oh so snap I'm doing this a little too fast so I'll do that afterwards so I take all this take the bottom piece make sure all the, the ports and everything line up um, looks like that's right then I'm gonna take this yet again pop it on there the little cover for it take this out of the way first okay so now I'll flip this down just 
should connect so I'm going to put all the silicone stuff through then once I fold it over it should uh, that's why it should fit properly so fix that then I close it and then it should work so next you can take the d-pad and pop it in there it looks like you're just kind of resting it on there it's not uh, being uh, anything fancy I guess and then you'll take the buttons let's make sure we got the right ones so Y goes on top right here then X goes right here Then B, which I'll probably put these on and then have to fix them later, so just bear with me right now. And then A. So now we have all of that put together. We've got that D-pad. We'll set that to the side now. We will move on to the battery. And what we have left is these two plastic pieces obviously so that's pretty simple pop that off then we'll pop this off grab that battery let's make sure we grab the right one okay so it's in here Actually, I need two things out of this one. I need this board, and then I will need this battery. So, what you can do is take the, the board, put it in the uh, plastic there, then take that battery, and put it in as well this battery looks exactly like the Nintendo 3DS batteries so it looks like you might be able to find those uh, and replace it if you needed to I'm not hundred percent sure but just based on what it looks like it looks like that's true Let's make sure we got all that fixed that's all put together Let's get these this trash over Let's flip the instructions around that way we can move forward now the next thing we're going to need is these bottom plastic pieces and we will be done with all the plastic parts. Honestly, I hate when plastic parts are in this. I'd prefer that the companies would take them up off of that and clean in them and so, uh, sand them down, but that's just me complaining honestly. Next we are going to get some um, parts out of this bag. And I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing here. So I'm going to get all the parts out of that. Set them down here. Set this off to the side a little bit. Let's make sure I get these two chips need to be used. This board needs to be used. Oh, wait. This board needs to be used. Okay, so what I need to do is open these bad boys up. And it says to take this white layer off or the protective layer. So I'm going to go ahead, take the protective layer off and then stick it on the board here. That way that contacts. Do the same thing with this one. Then we're going to take this bottom piece 
put this on. And we'll take this top piece and click it back on as well. So as you guys can tell, this is all fairly simple stuff if you don't have, oh look, there's that plastic again. If you don't have like soldering skills or whatnot, that is okay. Um, this is, this whole thing can be done without soldering skills. So that's one thing that I thought was very cool about this is they said that you could do that, do this without having to have those skills, which is really awesome. Let's see if I can put the board in the other way. So now I'm trying to click this and honestly clicking the plastic together is the hardest part so far. That works. Okay, so now that's put together. That's really cool. I'm gonna move this trash yet again. Moving the trash out of the way here for you guys. And now we're moving to where we're gonna need to do some wiring it looks like. So, the first thing you need to do is to get two of, let's see which one is this. Okay, so it's not this one, it's the shorter one. I need two of these, I believe. I just wanna make sure, yes. Okay, so we have all those. So you take the screen, Okay, so I have this. Okay, so I looked at the screen a little bit and it looks like you have to take this and plug it in here, which is going to be a difficult part. Oh, there it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that back in there. Um, it looks like that's probably good. I might have to push it in just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna have to do is get one of these cables which they're all marked so if you're watching this and you're doing this at home you can do that um, if you have the instructions it's fairly simple once you read them properly so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and plug that in let's make sure I plug it in properly as I drop stuff that's okay I'll pick it up in a second That's how it's supposed to look. Now, let me grab that D-pad that I just dropped off. Right there. So next, you're gonna go ahead and grab the battery here and put it going this way. And I know this is hard to see, and I'm sorry, the instructions are very interesting. You good? Ah, you're gonna take this battery, you're gonna also plug it in, and then you're going to plug the battery into the actual main board. So now you have not a long enough cable, it looks like. Let me look. Oh, snap. I figured out why. It needed to be flipped over. The instructions are fairly straightforward, but at the same time, they're not easiest to read um, but once you flip this over like that that reaches perfectly and we'll be good there so now we at least have the most part most of it put together 
Okay, so sorry about that. The camera actually died, but that's okay. We can fix this. So basically here is the bottom piece that you actually put everything into, and then there is the top over here. So what I'm gonna try to do is pick all this up and place it in where it needs to go. And then once I place it down, I will work on making sure everything is nice and secure like that. Once you push it down, there goes that D-pad yet again. Once you push it down, you'll feel it kind of click and then you can lay in the other half. And now I want to make sure that all these cables are in the proper channels. Let me go grab that D-pad. That thing just keeps falling and running around and honestly, I should have just waited to stick it on there till now, but whatever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shell, pop it on, make sure everything pops. So now everything's secure. Now there are two little wheels that actually come on this as well. So you put them on here and you twist them. That way it keeps it secure to, to it. And then we will see whether or not we can turn this bad boy on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the on off button and see if I can turn this on. It looked like it did not work. So I may have to go ahead and take it apart or I'll first charge it and see what I need to do there. Also, I realized that I never put the SD card in, which is very interesting. Let's see if I can figure out where that needs to go. So let me put this down and I'll show you a montage of it, but I need to get the SD card in there and everything so bear with me Okay, so here we are having it all together. I had to do some stuff. I don't know if I didn't have the battery plugged in properly. I actually think it just died. So actually it didn't. So that is a very good thing. So now that I showed you that off, I will talk about it a little bit. This is just gonna be a video about how to put it together and all that. But in the future, I will have more videos about this. So with that being said, let's head back over to the games and let's talk about what I think about this. Okay, so we have the Clockwork Pi, whatever you want to call it, the game shell put together. Honestly, this thing looks awesome. It looks very interesting and I cannot wait to get down to it and put this together or after I've put it together, put it, get it all set up and play on it. Now this thing looks awesome and this video was just to show you guys how to put it together. Now I will talk about it, this in another video up, upcoming about it. But yes, this is a very simple thing to do. You do not have to have soldering skills. You do not have to have any of that. You just have to know how to follow instructions, which if you notice, sometimes I don't. So I had to reread things and figure it out. But honestly, this is very awesome. It looks very sweet and I cannot wait to play hours and hours of my favorite PlayStation game, my favorite NES, SNES, Game Boy game, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, stuff like that. I'm very super duper stoked to play on this. So this thing looks very awesome and I'm very excited about it. But I want you guys to know down below is a link for this. They sent this to me and uh, I have nothing but good things to say about it so far. Uh, it was very easy to put together. Once I read those instructions, it was a breeze. And honestly, I think this looks great. Now, I wish this was a little bit more of a gray color and less of a cream color. That way it matched kind of what the Game Boy was when the Game Boy DMG came out. But uh, that's just being picky. They do also have yellow and red, which are more of those Game Boy Pocket. So those colors looked cool as well. But I wanted to kind of stick with the original Game Boy look here and I think it looks very awesome and it looks like this is going to be a very very fun console to play around with. So with that being said I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notifications, all that cool stuff. If you like this comment and let me know what you think down below. This company 
ask me if I'd like to uh, talk about it on this channel. And honestly, I looked into it and it looked very cool. So I'm very excited about that. So with that being said, one last time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.